exploring deep underground for clues to climate change. Follow us for a view inside the research of Jessica Oster. It's not your normal trip to the lab. I mean, it's a very unique place. For Vanderbilt Assistant Professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Jessica Oster, getting data means getting dirty. The ultimate goal of our research is to um, reconstruct past climate change. By collecting clues dripping inside caves. This is an environment that's been forming for, you know, thousands and thousands of years. Oster and her team, including Vanderbilt undergrads, are working inside the Blue Spring Cave in Middle Tennessee. The thing I love the most is that we are answering, we think, really cool questions about how climate change is on land, and so the caving is just a bonus. And that means traveling far underground. crawling through spaces less than two feet high. You just kind of brace yourself and just slowly wiggle up. Squeezing through cracks and rappelling down rocks. Why? We are interested in understanding carbon and how um, carbon is transformed as it moves from the soil into the cave. They're doing it with these stalagmites, or speleothems, it's a fancy word for um, stalagmite. Oster is part of a small group of earth scientists pioneering the use of mineral cave deposits to identify prehistoric climate. So these drips, you know, over and over, over thousands of years, will just precipitate a little bit of this mineral. Right. Um, and so that's how they form, you know, in that process where it's, you know, starting out as rain and seeping through the soil and the limestone, it's also picking up different chemical signatures of the environment. Those signatures become crystallized. And so that's what, you, that's what we look at when we look at these climate records. Once they compile the carbon data. It'd be really nice to, to make this a solid model that others could potentially use in various cave situations. This Kentucky native is no stranger to caves. I grew up going to Mammoth Cave for field trips and thought it was just super cool to be underground. I really got to couple my interest of studying climate change with my interest of caves and um, caving. And her fellow researchers feel the same. Kind of just falling in love with coming underground. Vanderbilt undergrad Teresa Miller started caving with Oster as a freshman. Being able to work with some of the data and learn about the oxygen isotopes is really interesting, especially since I've been interested in chemistry for a while. This is something I didn't think would even be an opportunity or a possibility, but I'm really enjoying it. Oster and her team hope by studying the past, the potential is there to look at climate change over you know, the past half million years. They can make an impact on the future.